What is up today, YouTube gods and goddesses out there in the world posting up daily content. It's your boy Mike from Duckwalk Professional. Today we're standing by my blackberry bush here and as you can see, we got some berries growing on there for the boys. Should I take that truck or should I take that truck? All right, we got a little bit of a special mission we're going to do here. Uh, got done work for today, and um, as a little beat, I worked all Monday, I mean all weekend. So pretty much I can take a little bit time on the end of the day. It's 4 o'clock on Monday, and we're going to take Black Betty for a ride on the beach. And I got a bunch of these uh, nub stickers that I got at, at Hobbs Compound, and I told them I was going to put them up. Um, on all the signs at the jetty entrances in Brigantine. So I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna fulfill my promise to the boy. Whew. We got one of the coolest mailmen in the neighborhood, the boy. Um, I'm blessed to be uh, able to live in Brigantine and to have um, the opportunity to take whatever truck I want onto the beach. Not every sure town in New Jersey uh, you can drive your truck on the beach like you can in Brigantine. So uh, we're going to hop up on 38th Street right here and we're going to drive our way down to the jetty for the boys. Put that baby in park. All you gotta do, let's flip it into four high. Four wheel drive shift in progress. And we're ready to go. down here um, I actually drove on to 38th Street and I forgot what time of the year it is and uh, you're, you're not supposed to drive on that part of the beach at this point in the year but it's all good I made it through uh, all the way down um, we're at the jetty here got the casinos there the jetty's right there uh, there's we got some other people out here too enjoying the day uh, I'm gonna get out the truck and walk around a little bit and then we are going to the signs to complete the mission here. shots I needed. I left my shoes in one spot and as you can see the beach is just taking them over boys. It's crazy down here. Bye bye Jenny. Now 
how to complete the mission. First stop sign. All right, we got to the first sign and we are going to run out and put our first sticker on. The thing about being pro when you put stickers on is that uh, you got to have them unstuck first so you can just plop them right on there for the boys. You can see if this hard everybody puts up all these stickers on the signs everywhere and on the back on this one over here. And there's ours right there for the boys. That's our new local place. They jumped up to get that one. Just got two knocked out real quick. Gonna knock out a couple more for the boys. I got a couple stickers left. You. drive back out the jetty and none of these signs have any more stickers on them so I'm not going to be the first one to put stickers on a sign if they're not there already but a lot of these signs have stickers all over them and then we're coming to the exit and I know this one has a bunch of stickers on it so we're going to put one right there too okay now you guys can see that nub tv sticker on the upper left hand side and just remember the mop god did it for the boy and then also this stop sign has some stickers barber beach and seaside that's the entrance to the jetty up here so we're gonna hook that up for the boys Guys, I'm claiming that was a successful mission. Um, I only have two more Nub TV stickers left, and I will find some good spots to put the last two. But we got a bunch of stop signs put up there, and I fulfilled my promise. I told Hob when he gave me those stickers that I was going to put them on the stop signs at the entrance and the exit to the Brigantine Jetty, and I got that accomplished for the boys. Here. Let's bring in Mike Tobin, the Look what I found. This is the tool that the scrap guy needs to go in, to get into the dumpsters, and you just can go like that and pick anything up and not have to get up in there like that. We got a family work session going on over here. Three generations working in the back of the box truck. I got my own little mission going on here. I'm treating the roses on the property. I mix it into that, uh, that watering can. And basically I am treating the roses because they have a lot of black spot and uh, bug bites and all that type of, you can just look at the leaves of the roses and you can see if they need treatment or not. If the roses have, leaves have no problems or if they have holes like that. So when they start getting holes and start getting spots, it's time to treat them. All right, boys, after having fun, sometimes you gotta clean up. Look at all that sand on that baby. So you gotta wash that shit up. It was blowing like crazy out there. I opened the sunroof up to get some shots and boy, did the inside get smoked with sand. So, I mean, that's not for the boys. You gotta clean it up. That's the part that sucks about having fun sometimes is you gotta clean up afterwards. And my dream, you never have to clean up. Just so, just so you guys know, the uh, vacuum cleaner that I just used to vacuum that truck out, that's Keep Life. I found that in the trash a couple blocks away. And that's for the boys. It's a little tiny shop vac and I don't have to bring the big bad boy out. It's good for little jobs too because I can fit it in the truck. You. All right, after you uh, vacuum all the sand off, then you gotta wash all the sand off. Look at the light. What? I'm gonna hang, you got yourself handcuffed together, huh? 
Get me out of the cops. I think we should handcuff you to the fence and leave you there. Huh? No. no? Zebra, what are you doing, bud? Are you washing it? Stop. 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 What did I say? What? All right, boys, we're out here, and the sky has literally just went from bright and shining to this black cloud that we have, and it is getting ready to rain like a mother. I just want to give a shout out to our new neighbors down the alley, um, and our new friends, Jude and his sister, who had the balls to come down with a bunch of males and say, hey, this is my brother Jude. How old is DJ? Would you guys like to play? That is a good big sister. Jude, you got it made, boy. You. I don't know if you guys can see how hard it's raining. If you can see the raindrops, but you can see the weather. Just got Black Betty parked over there, and we are going in. Gonna get the day done, have some dinner. Maybe take a shower. Who knows? Maybe make love. You. Michael, I hope you're not putting me on. No claim. 